All right, we're working on a Valent Ecotech Pro 24, and in this video, we're going to be changing over the diverter valve. So, if you read in the description, I'll put some possible reasons why you might need to change over the diverter valve for the Valent. So, to get started, we're gonna undo this nut in the middle, push up these two clips, and take the case off. So for this repair, you are going to need to isolate the boiler, drain down the boiler, and also isolate the cold mains into the boiler. So once you've done that, I would also recommend just charging the vessel, make sure it's charged just to push out any excess water. So once we have done that, we're gonna pop down this case. And now I would also recommend maybe putting a cloth or some tissue here or having a wet vac ready as when we take out the diverter, excess water does usually come out into the water. So to get started, what we're going to want to do is undo this electrical connection here. Let's push it and pull it up. And then we have the clip that's holding it to the pump. Pull that and that should come out. And then for the diverter, we have three screws. We have one, two, and one right at the bottom underneath here. Now, depending on the boiler, some might have a long screw for the bottom to make it easier. Some might be the short screw. So it depends on what you got. All right, so we're gonna start undoing these screws. So the one at the bottom. those two screws up and um, we just have the final one at the bottom okay so next we need to pop out this clip right here and put it to the side right You'll notice that when you try to take this out, it's going to be quite stiff to try to take out. So if it is too stiff, what you can do to give you a little bit more slack is I'm going to have to drop the boiler down for you. You don't have to do that. All you have to do is look underneath. So if you take a look at that nut right there. If you unloosen that nut, this pipe will go a lot more loose. I'll show you. Now we don't want to take it off, we just want to loosen it. Now if you look, we now have a lot more play on that pipe. Okay, so now with all those loose, we should be able to start wiggling 
it's the vertical left like that and the water will most likely come so just be ready now this is the old diver above and as you can see we have washers here so if these washers were a problem you can change them they are sometimes tricky to hold in place as they do keep falling a little trick you can do is you put them on and you push aggressively for a few seconds and they should stay and they're just going to quickly try to put the diverter in you can use the old washers if they are okay so let's suppose this is the new diverter now what I'd recommend if you don't have the long screw is just putting it in a little bit just so it's resting like that at the bottom or by trying to put the screw in once it's in it's going to be a little bit tricky so also you might want to put some grease on the connections but we're going to put that in and we're going to slide it right and that should be it into the pump and we're just going to start tightening up this bottom screw right there that one now these two screws will be easier Sometimes things like that can happen, you drop the screw and sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to get out. Okay. So we'll try that again. Sometimes things don't always go as planned as you'll learn from experience. Okay, so I'm gonna put this clip back in to hold the pump and the uh, divert together. If you're finding that it's not really going on, you can just get it, open it up a little bit and then it should be easier for you to get on. All right, that's on. And then lastly we have this here. So I'm just gonna push that in, make sure it's in all the way. Get a clip. Slot it in and you're gonna just make sure that that's your clip goes in front of the pipe. Okay, that's the diverter changeover. Plug the electrical connection back in. And then remember we've and loosen this nut here so I'm just gonna have to push the boiler back down and just tighten it back up so you're gonna want to hold it from one side and then tighten it from the other side okay Tighten back up. And that is the diverter valve back up and running. So then you're gonna wanna obviously unisolate the boiler, unisolate the mains water, 